In this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to pack up your Oz RV Superlight correctly. Remember the golden rules, never force anything. If you meet resistance while you're trying to close up a camper, always stop and find out why. Roll down all your window flaps and zip them up. Make sure you protect the mesh as well. Let's get into it. The first thing we do when we're packing down our camper is remove the two small upright poles at the bed end. Take them out, then remove all four spreader poles across the roof. Now you can lower the bow poles, starting at the front, then the centre, and then the rear. Before I pack up my steps, I want to unbutton my Velcro around the edge and get that out of the way. I do that so I don't interfere with the zipper and crush it in the door when I close the steps. Now I can fold all my canvas in and lower the rear bow pole. Now I can undo the winch at the front and release my hook and push the lid over. Because my right arm is my predominant arm, my stronger one, I'm actually going to do it from this side because I prefer to use my stronger arm above my head as I push the lid over. The gas struts do a great job as you can see it's gone part of the way up on its own. So now we'll just push it over and tuck some more canvas in. Just as a bit of a helpful thing, I've run my winch over around the spare and hooked it back up to the eyelet. That allows me to winch the roof down in some increments so I can tuck in the canvas, keep it tucked in, then give my lid one final push to latch it down. I've gone around the camper and I've made sure all my canvas is tucked in properly, especially across the front, and made sure that the vinyl draft skirt that goes over the lid and the hinges isn't poking through and going to interfere with the seals. It's critically important that when you pack your camper up, there is nothing protruding between the seal and the lip of the camper. If there is, what it can do is wick water into the camper if it rains, and then of course water a bit of heat and you'll have mildew on your canvas which nobody wants. Now I can just lean on, do up my first two latches and it's always easier to do this with two latches and as you clamp the camper down you're looking for 30 to 50 percent compression on the seal all the way around the camper. If you get the seal compression right the water and the dust can't get through.
Now we just need to pack up our stabiliser legs. So grab your brace, wind your stabiliser leg up, and fold it back up into place. Pull the blue handle out, and then once it's up in position, give it a wiggle, make sure the blue handle pops back into place. And that, folks, is how you pack up your Oz RV Superlight. This is by far one of the easiest campers I've ever used to set up and pack up. It's very, very light to tow. Everything about it is easy. Remember the golden rules when you pack up, always zip up all your window shades, zip up your external windows and unravel your door rolls. That way you won't damage the fly smash when you're packing it up. Also, never force anything and never put undue stress on the canvas. When you extend poles or you're packing up, if you meet resistance, stop and see why. For more great tutorials, head across to our YouTube channel, check out the setup, kitchen and electrical, and the annex videos and head across to our website and download a copy of the owner manual. These are our commitment to you, the customer, to make sure you get the very best out of your Oz RV product.